Allow me to say that you've come a long way to make it to this lesson. You learned about the most professional methods how to create your online store and it's already created. You already have your store. You have very good products using product research from a very professional method used by the most advanced dropshippers today. And you created all of your legal pages and made your homepage look good. You navigated all your menus and now it's time to go live with your store. I hope you're excited for this because it's a big step forward. So let's begin. On your Shopify dashboard, click on settings. Next, click on plan and permissions. And here you will have the option to subscribe to Shopify and select your plan. Since I already did it, you can see the current plan that I'm on, but you will have the option to select a plan. And when you click on it, it will look like this. So here you have your three plans. You are going to start with a basic Shopify plan because it's enough. It will cost $29 a month. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted you guys to fully create your store before going on to subscribe. But now is the time. So with this plan, you're going to get a 2% transaction fee, which we talked about a couple of lessons ago when setting our break even. And if you're using third party payment providers, there's additional fees. So if you still don't know how to sum up your break even, just go back a couple of lessons. It's definitely worth it. And I really hope that you will get to the point where you need employees to run your store. So that's what the basic Shopify plan gives you. And like I said, it's more than enough to get started. Once you start generating sales and profit, move on to the $79 a month where you will have less transaction fees and you can have more employees and then move on to the advanced Shopify. And I really hope that you guys make it to the advanced stage, but it will take some time. Don't rush yourself anywhere. Start with the 29 bucks a month, start generating your sales and profit and then move on as you go along. When you will have enough sales in the basic plan and the 2% transaction fee will not be worth it when compared to the 1% transaction fee, that's when you know that it's time to move on to the next plan. So go ahead and click on choose this plan. Choose if you want to pay $29 every 30 days or an annual plan to save more money or a two year plan or a three year plan to save more and more. I would start with $29 for 30 days, see how it works for you and slowly move on. Then later in the payment method, simply choose if you want to pay with credit card or by PayPal and then move on to entering your details and that will be it. You will have a Shopify subscription plan and then you'll be able to disable your store password. Once you disable your store password, your store will go live. Anyone will be able to enter your website and buy anything from your store. So let's go ahead and disable that password. On the left side, click on online store and under themes, you will have an option to disable your password over here. I don't have the option once again because I already disabled my password, but here's where you're going to have that option. Simply click on disable password and there won't be any lock to your website and anyone will be able to enter it. So once you do that, go ahead and test it out. Open up a new tab, type in that new domain that you purchased a few lessons ago and you will see that your website is live and it looks good because you followed every step that you had in this free course to be able to really build a professional looking website that anyone can go in right now and start purchasing your products. And that is all there is to it to have a live store with hot selling products. The next step is to bring traffic to your website. You have a shop, but nobody knows about it. That's why in the next lesson, we are going to have an introduction to e-commerce marketing, followed by the lessons that will come after that, where you will learn how to create your own successful Facebook ads. And do not be afraid when you hear Facebook ads, we're going to learn how to do it on a budget and do it successfully to bring traffic and bring sales to your shop. Good job on having a live store. Congratulations. And I'll see you in the next lesson.